Um, so, um, I don't know what I'm saying. So, this is the tutorial that I'm going to film, or that I just did. Um, it's pretty simple. It's not that hard. It's just, like, everyday stuff. But I thought this reminded me of summer so much. Like, a walk on the beach kind of thing on a summer's day, or night, or evening, or whatever you want to say. So, you can, if you want to know how to do this, or you just want to see how I did it, um, stay tuned and watch the tutorial. Bye, guys. Hey, guys. So, this is the tutorial that I'm going to be doing for you guys today. It's very summery. So, um, I'm just going to start off with some concealer. And this is the CoverGirl concealer. I'm just going to put this under my eyes to kind of brighten them up a little bit. And if you didn't realize, I already did, I already did this to, like, the other side. So, yeah. Okay, so then I'm going to take the Urban Decay Primer Potion and prime my lid. Like so. Then I'm going to be taking a um, bounce shadow from MAC called Up the Ante, and I'm going to be taking a kind of cream kind of looking, or like a, I don't know what kind of brush that is, but yeah, it's like a really, like, like a thick mousse kind of thing. And you don't need that much on your brush for it, which is awesome because then you don't have to waste any of it. Pretty sure the stuff on the lid will last me a lifetime, so. That's good. Always good, I guess. Okay, so then I'm going to be taking... Am I done? Nope, not done. T taking a little bit more. But after this, I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay um, Naked 2 brush and putting um, all that glitters from MAC on the inner... Th or like the third... inner third of my eye. And they're... They like they look a lot different, um, like in the pots. But when you actually put it on, they look a lot similar. It just kind of light, it like gives like an ombre effect. I think. Sorry, I just coughed. I have been having the worst coughs, you guys. Like honestly. Okay, so for the crease, I'm taking Snake Bite out of the Naked Two with a Mary Kay brush that I got from my mom's kit because she used to sell it. But um, yeah, so I'm just gonna put a little bit in the crease and then slowly work my way, um, work it all the way up into the crease. So yeah, I've always had troubles doing the crease, but Emily finally showed me how to do it correctly, so yeah. Oh, and by the way, this is Emily's look. I t told her I would give her props because she's the one that created this, except she had tease in, or not tease, she had um, a pistol in the, in the crease, but yeah, she came up with this pretty much. I just picked the crease color. Okay, so now I'm going to go back with the up the ante and just go over the stuff that I kind of smudged when I was doing my crease or that it came off a little bit or whatever. And I have it all over my arm from swatching it. It's pretty crazy. Alright, so now I'm time to curl the lashes. My eyelashes were not curling very good. I hate it. And I usually just like pulse it a couple times to um, let go and then I usually blink so I don't pull out any eyelashes. Then I'm going to take this mascara. I can't remember what it's called. It is the Glam Eyes Rimmel London. So yeah, I'm just doing the volume section of that, or the volume part of that, and going over my lashes a couple times. And you guys will see that I do curl my lashes right after. Um, and I know I'm going to get a lot of hate comments for that, but um, I have a way of doing it so I don't pull my lashes out. I do it and then I like blink, but so it doesn't happen doesn't tear out my eyelashes but I'm just going over it again with that mascara and then that's the cover girl something something I don't know what it is but I just go over that to kind of separate the lashes and so now I'm gonna be taking a bronzer and this is the Clinique bronzer and then that's just a white brush that I got kidding yep and I'm just gonna contour this um, right below my cheekbones for that sun-kissed look and then after the bronzer, I apply um, Jergens Natural Glow so I can have that nice tan look without ruining my skin, of course. And I love this brush. It's from e.l.f. and it's like the best contouring brush ever. But um, I'm doing the 3E method here with a different brush with the bronzer. 3E is just going like forehead, cheekbone, and collarbone, or chin. And then I'm going right down the middle and then just kind of winging it out. So then I'm going to be taking a blush, and this is the NYC 
cream blush in Pink Plaza, and I absolutely adore this blush. It's my favorite. And I'm just going to put a little bit on the apples, like the like top of my apples of my cheeks. And there's my EOS Lip Balm in Strawberry Parfait. And then I have um, Sephora's Summer Crush Lip Gloss, and it's like a bright coral orange. And yep, yep. And that's pretty much the look. So bye, guys. Oh, yeah, comment, rate, I mean, like, and subscribe. I love you all. Bye.